In this video, we are going to learn how to solve Hess's Law problems. We have been talking about the energy required for a reaction to take place. Sometimes it's not really all that efficient or even cost effective to make a product in only one step. So chemists will do several different reactions to eventually reach the product goal. Hess's Law allows us to look at the enthalpy or the amount of energy that is absorbed or released in each step and then calculate the change in total energy after completing all of the steps. Let's look at some problems. In this problem, we are trying to determine the change in enthalpy for the reaction XeF2 plus F2 yields XeF4. There are several other things on here that you will notice. We have two reactions. These are the two reactions that work to get us to our final reaction, our final product that we want to get. They both have the amount of energy, the amount of enthalpy required to have these reactions take place. Delta H means change in enthalpy. The negative sign is meaning for both of these reactions, they release energy. If there was a positive sign or no sign at all, it would mean that it absorbed energy. We are going to look and see which ones of these two reactions up here contain the different parts of our reaction that we want to reach. So I'm going to use different colors. Let's look for XeF2. I look up here and I find it on the product side of reaction one. Well, that means it is on the wrong side of the arrow. Okay, it's a reactant in our final product reaction. So it is a product in this first one. So what we need to do is we need to reverse this arrow. Lots of reactions can actually go both ways. When I reverse the arrow, it no longer is releasing 123 kilojoules. It is now absorbing 100 and 23 kilojoules. So when you change the arrow, you change the sign. All right, so that's XeF2. Let's look at F2 and find it. All right, so we've got F2 up here and we've got F2 down here. But I've changed this arrow, so it's put them on opposite sides. This starts to get a little confusing, so sometimes it can be easier to go ahead and rewrite the equations. So we have XeF2 plus, oops, yields, sorry, yields, we'll make Xe pink, Xe plus F2. So now this is equation number one rewritten. Okay. So then let's go ahead and rewrite equation number two underneath just so that we can see it all together. Xe plus 2F2 yields XeF4. All right. So if you look at this, we've got now everything's on the correct side. XeF2 is a reactant. F2, there is one on the product side, but there's two on the reactant side. We can actually subtract. So this one will disappear and we are left with only one F2. So now we match up. And then in our products, we have Xe, and we have an XeF4. Well, we only want the XeF4. There's no Xe, plain Xe, anywhere in this final equation. So we look and see if we can cancel them out. There's one on each side of the arrow, so we can cancel it out. And we are left with our final reaction, which is good. So now what we need to do is we need to go back up here, and we need to add these two equations together. When I do that, I get a total of 139 kilojoules. 
That is the change in enthalpy, the delta H, for this equation. Next, we will do a little bit more complicated problem. All right, now you are ready for a little more complicated of a problem. So let's look at this one. We want a final reaction of 2F2, 2H2O, yields 4HF plus O2. Okay, that is what we want to get. Up here at the top, we've got two reactions. Sometimes you will have three, four, even five reactions. So just because my examples have happened to have two, don't assume that there was always two. And both of these reactions release energy because they have negative kilojoules. So let's look and see what we have. Let's find all of our F2s in the problem above. So they just have to be in the first problem. And so F2, it's on the correct side, but there's a little bit of a problem. There's only one. And there are two down below. So we have to make this equation up above have two. But I cannot just change one thing. If you remember back to when we were balancing equations, you have to keep everything equal and balanced. So if I make this a two, everything else gets multiplied by two as well. So this will become 2H2, 2F2, and 4HF. But that's not all. I have now doubled the amount of everything that I have, which means I have to double my change in enthalpy. So I'm going to multiply that by 2. All right, so now let's look at water. So water, we'll make it blue, and we look up here, and it is in the second equation, but anybody see the problem? It is on the wrong side. So we're going to do just like we did in the other problem. We are going to reverse the arrow, flip-flopping to where this will now be a reactant, and those are products, and we change the arrow, so we change the sign. It was negative, now we've made it positive. All right, so let's go ahead and rewrite because it does make life easier. So reaction number one, we will make H2 pink, H2 plus two, I forgot the 2 on my H2, 2H2 plus 2F2 yields 4HF, oops, sorry, and then our second reaction is going to be reversed, so it is 2H2O yields 2H2 plus, we'll make O2 green, plus O2. All right, so now we have to look and see what we do not need in the end. And if you look, we have H2 on both sides, and it just happens to be 2H2 on both sides, and so we can cancel them out. Now we have our two F2, two H2Os, yields 4HF plus O2. So now we're golden, All, all's good. So we go up to the top, we are going to multiply that, then add these together, and I got a total of negative 5, 12.8 kilojoules. And that's how you solve one that you have to flip and you have to multiply. Be aware that if you ever ended up where all of these numbers were doubled, you would have to divide everything by two, in essence, reducing or simplifying the whole reaction. If you do that, you would have to reduce the 5, 12 as well. This is not the case for this particular one, but on your worksheet, 
you do have several examples that are like that. Try your best, do all you can, and come in and ask any questions that you may have.